The police departments in New York City and Los Angeles are monitoring developments in the Middle East for any potential threats in this country. CBS News senior national security contributor and former acting and deputy CIA director Michael Morell joins us. Michael, welcome again. Good morning. Uh, Michael, both uh, former presidents uh, George W. Bush and Obama uh, reportedly rejected it targeting Soleimani in the past, fearing it could lead to war. But we heard the defense secretary say the game has changed. How significant is this radical shift in strategy? So, Anthony, here's, here's the balance. Qasem Soleimani was an evil genius. He had a lot of American blood on his hands. He was the mastermind behind Iranian malign behavior in the region. The world is a better place without him. The problem is that comes at a very high cost. Number one, there will be dead Americans, dead civilian Americans, as a result of this, possibly over the next few days, in any place where Iran has its proxies. Iraq is the most likely place, but also Lebanon, Bahrain, other places in the Middle East. Number two, this sets a precedent, Anthony, that that senior officials are fair game in this hybrid, not yet at war kind of scenario that we're in with Iran, and that's a dangerous precedent to set. Number three, this is actually going to enable the hardliners, strengthen the hardliners in Iran. As we heard earlier, Qasem Soleimani, extremely popular in Iran, and that is going to actually strengthen those people who follow him. And lastly, I think we've now ended any hope of keeping Iraq out of Iran's arms. I think we're going to see the Iranian parliament vote very shortly, possibly as early as today, to send American troops home. So, yes, it's good that he's gone, but it comes at an extraordinarily high price. And that's why the Bush administration and the Obama administration chose not to do something like this. Michael, how do you think Iran is specifically likely to respond? So I think it depends. I think if they think about it rationally, they will not conduct a military strike on U.S. military forces in the region because they're going to lose that battle. I think what the Iranians are going to do is they're going to turn their proxies loose throughout the region to go after civilians, and at a time and place of their choosing, they're going to conduct a terrorist strike that kills a senior American official. And that could be anywhere in the world. Um, the Iranians and Lebanese Hezbollah, their, their main ally, have contingency plans on the books for such terrorist attacks. So such a terrorist attack could occur soon. Mike, when you say, and it's bracing to hear you say that there will be dead Americans, including civilians, in this response from Iran, and it could be anywhere in the world, that includes the United States? Yes, it does. How might that unfold? So, as I said, Lebanese Hezbollah, which is one of, you know, their closest allies, has contingency plans, and those in two include contingency plans in the United States against U.S. targets. Do we know anything about who might replace Soleimani? Uh, there's the old adage about the devil you know and the devil you don't. So, there is some, there is some chatter on social media about the Iranians having already um, um, announced his successor. It's his deputy. It's his long time deputy of 22 years, um, same philosophy, same ideology, not the same charisma, um, but the same approach. So I don't think we're going to see a change in Iranian behavior as a result of Qasem Soleimani's death. All right. Michael Morell for us. Thank you.